that's so great that James had that huge elephant bull in the Mara. I'm very jealous. Now we've had uh, now five hyena that were running around. There are three that we can see in, on the carcass now. There were one or two that ran off in different directions. So, but there were five here all together. At least they're getting a little bit of food from this carcass. The vultures are now waiting patiently. So it's just really interesting interaction that we haven't seen for quite some time. So this is wonderful to see. Christy, you asked, are there nutrients in the bones? Yes, indeed there are, definitely. Uh, calcium, phosphorus, a lot of nutrients in the bones. There's a bone marrow that they'll be feeding on. I think that's actually what that hyena has got there now. bones crunching and the those powerful jaws of the hyena going to work. Still chasing the vultures. Interesting, the hyena was snapping at the vulture, but but I've never seen I've never seen one actually grab a vulture. I don't think they're interested in eating them and we spoke about that earlier. Much better feeding on that uh, on the carcass. Neta, you asked if the lions or scavengers eat the eyes of the animals. Um, yes, indeed. Uh, the buffalo, um, the eyes were eaten by the lions. We did see them, uh, they, they did feed on that. And part of the face too, some of the softer meat around the face. at that carcass just look at those ribs how they've been cleaned um, by the vultures some of the um, vertebrae but picked completely clean nothing goes to waste out here you can see a hooded vulture over there So the hyena are very, very powerful. I've seen them carry and drag away the big in the oh, you should be able to see four hyena at this carcass. Wow, look at this one on the right. It's got part of the vertebrae in its mouth.
it's nice to see all these hyena together. I haven't seen so many adults together for quite some time. Well, I haven't. As I said, there, there are five, five hyena around at the moment. We can only see four of them. There is one to the back that was feeding on a little bit of a carcass. Is amazing. <laughs> you see that <laughs> mouth open running at us, chasing the vulture. Breezy, you asked, what is the average amount of of hyena in a clan? Um, and Breezy, I think it ranges from two or three hyena up to twenty or twenty-five, if not more, in certain parts of Africa. You can get some really large clans. So it, it varies breezy completely depending on the area, amount of food, um, amount of competition. I was hoping we'd get more vocalization from these hyena. Yeah, those wonderful sounds that they can make when they do get excited. And perhaps they also don't want to attract attention. And they do know there have been big male lions around, so they would be cautious. There we go, all five hyena now. Oh. Oh, there we go. Just as I mentioned, vocalizing, they do it for us. Isn't that amazing? Now, eh? That was great, eh, Senza? So the hyena can make a number of different calls. Always oh, nice to hear that whooping sound of the hyena. Now, V. Jake, you asked, are the hyena more closely related to the canine or feline family? And so, more recent studies have shown that, uh, that they're actually more closely related to cats. Um, if you go back um, and, the, and, um, and how they've evolved, apparently they are more closely related to cats than to dogs or canines, which is interesting. It doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, that's a big hyena. One to the right, very, very large. Ayanda, to be honest, I find it very difficult to tell the difference between male and female hyena. I think that one on the right is actually a female. Um, the, the females are bigger than the males, but also the females have false male genitalia. Oh, the lions are roaring, everyone. Oh, it sounds like a... It sounds like a Galago pan. Somewhere around there. I wonder, I'm probably... It's been such a nice sighting of these hyena, and I know all of you enjoy seeing the hyena and the scavengers around and all the vultures, but we might try and go and see if we can find those lions. Maybe we get them roaring for us um, just now again. 
Uh, and as I was saying, with the ma with male and female hyena, it's quite difficult. Female hyena have false male genitalia because they are much larger and more dominant than the males. And the reason for that is because it's a matriarchal society. Wow, this, uh, these hyena are having fun chasing these vultures. So the females are more dominant and bigger. The other reason is for them to protect their cubs from males. Sometimes males may come in and kill cubs if they don't belong to them, or if it's competition. All right, I think, uh, I think why don't we move on and let's see if we can find those lions while it's still early. Maybe we get some activity from them. 